What if I told you that we already have real nanobots that are capable of entering your body and can do wonders? What if I told you that nanobots could cure cancer? Well, today, we will be discussing the top 5 shocking real nanobots that will be entering your body. If that got your attention, now is the right time to stick till the end of the video because you clearly don't want to miss out on these nanobots. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications because I don't want you to miss out on any of the artificial intelligence related content that I make for you guys. With all that done, let's get started. Nanorobotics happens to be an emerging technology field that creates machines or robots whose components are at the scale of a nanometer. Nanorobotics can change everything we know about medicine because it can help you with early diagnosis and targeted drug delivery for cancer and many other diseases. We have 5 shocking nanorobots that will change the way you look at these robots because these robots can enter into the human body. Number 5. Nanorobots in Surgery Well, this one happens to be the very first application of nanorobotics that will be entering your body. Surgical nanorobots are introduced into your body through vascular systems and other cavities, and these nanorobots act as semi-autonomous on-site surgeons inside the body and they're programmed or directed by a human surgeon. These surgical nanorobots can perform various functions like searching for pathogens and then diagnosing them, followed by correction of lesions by nanomanipulation synchronized by an onboard computer at the same time, conserving and contacting the supervisory surgeon through coded ultrasound signals. Number 4. Diagnosis and Testing Medical nanorobotics can be used for the purpose of diagnosis, testing, and monitoring of microorganisms, tissues, and cells in the bloodstream and these nanorobots are capable of noting down what's required and reporting some vital signs such as temperature, pressure, and immune systems along with other parameters of different parts of the human body continuously. Now, if you made it this far, I don't find a reason for you not to be a part of this great community that are genuinely excited about artificial intelligence, which is why you need to hit that subscribe button right now. Number 3. Gene Therapy the best part about nanorobots is the fact that these can be used in treating genetic diseases by relating the molecular structures of DNA and proteins in the cell. The modifications and irregularities in the DNA and protein sequences are then corrected. An assembled repair vessel is inbuilt in the human body to perform the maintenance of genetics by floating inside the nucleus of a cell. The nanomachine pulls the strand that is unwound for analysis when the supercoil of DNA is enlarged within its lower pair of robotic arms, while the upper arms separate the proteins from the chain. The data from the huge nanocomputer's database is transferred outside the nucleus and compared to the molecular structures of DNA and proteins that are linked to the cell repair ship via a communication link. The proteins reattached to the deoxynucleic acid chain reorganize into their original shape and any abnormalities identified in the structures are repaired. Number 2. Cancer Detection and Treatment Treating cancer has always been a very difficult task because the disease cells have exactly the same genetic material as healthy cells. All the changes in a cancer cell are the expression of those genes in a bacterial or a viral disease. The biology of the disease agent is very different to our own, and in those cases, scientists might simply find an attack of the biological pathway where the disease agent is not present in humans. But when it comes to cancer therapies, it has always been very difficult with such an approach since the biology of the diseased and healthy cells are very similar. Many cancer treatments have so many side effects that are not quite desirable. The problem with the current treatment is that cancer therapies have a very difficult time with such an approach since the biology of the deceased and the healthy cells are very similar. Even the drugs that are used to treat cancer cells will also end up targeting the healthy cells. Using nanobots, treatments that can selectively target cancer cells will significantly reduce the risk of side effects of cancer therapy which is why a team of researchers from ITMO University developed a nanorobot that will be able to do just that. The changes in the genome of cancer cells result in the increased production of RNA strands, which then produce the bad proteins. And if the RNA molecule can be selectively targeted, then the disease-inducing proteins would never be produced in the first place. So, the nanorobots that will be treating cancer will have two elements. The first one happens to be a targeting element and the second one happens to be a therapeutic element. 
The therapeutic part will destroy pathogenic RNA strands. When the nanorobot destroys pathogenic RNA strands, the production of harmful protein is reduced. The second part of the robot allows us to detect pathogenic cells, and if there's an incorrect RNA molecule in the cell, the substance will bind whether chemically modified oligonucleotide, which is artificially introduced into the cell and the cancer cells can be treated. Number 1. Dentistry Nanotechnology will change everything for the dental industry as well, because right now, it plays a very significant role in transforming the dental industry. An injury due to perforation of the maxillary sinus nerve injury and infection is something that is to be considered during dental implant surgery. Past injury and disease implant failure is also a huge risk, with roughly 5 to 10% of dental implants coming up short. Failed implants can also result from an absence of clinician experience, bone attributes, and patient-related medical issues. But with the help of nanorobotics and navigational surgery, doctors can accomplish a lot more effective implant position strategies and lower the danger of things going wrong. Natural methods for significant repairs might take more time to advance through phases of improvement. But right now, it can be used for tissue redesigning and tissue recovery. But in the near future, nanotechnology can be used to develop new teeth in vitro and their establishment, which includes the assembling and establishment of a whole new tooth. Orthodontic nanorobots can control periodontal tissues, permitting fast and effortless fixing, pivoting and vertical repositioning within minutes to hours. This offers a benefit over molar up correcting procedures presently being used, which require weeks or months to finish. The objective of nanotechnology in the dental industry is to give extensive checking, control development, and improve patients' oral health. Nanotechnology can undoubtedly change the medical field because it will now give more flexibility for doctors to work with patients, and you will be getting more applications of nanobots in the coming future. So yes, nanobots are exciting, especially because of their applications in the medical field. This way, we get more precise treatments targeted towards particular cells or particular areas of our body. This was something we couldn't do before, but now it is possible thanks to nanotechnology and nanorobotics. And that's a wrap for today's video. What do you think about these nanobots entering your body, and what do you want me to cover next? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, because I would love to hear from you all. Also, consider subscribing to my channel for more artificial intelligence related content just like this one. And make sure to turn on post notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. That's about it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and I will meet you again in the very next one. So stay tuned.